Before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that you guys have been showing some awesome support. I really appreciate it. We're at 356 subs. If you guys could so kindly go down below and everyone just smash the sub button, the like button, and co-comment down below. The interaction has been great. You guys have really been so supportive. It's only, you know, it's only been a month and a half, almost two months, and support's been unreal for this point in my YouTube career. And we're almost at 400, guys, so I'd really appreciate it if everyone you're watching could just drop the sub and get us to 400 by tonight, maybe tomorrow. And, um, yeah, there's not much else to say on that, but I really do appreciate it, and you guys won't regret dropping the sub. We're, a lot of things are coming out. A lot of good things are happening. I'm trying to improve. I've improved my content, my quality, my thumbnails, my video, my commentating every single day. And um, besides the gameplay today, which might have not been the best, I'm trying to work on that. I haven't really done any gameplays, and it, it wasn't really my fault. It was more on the end of my editing software and a lot of other issues I had, so I'm going to have to resolve those in the future. But that's, that's the only little blimp I've had so far. Besides that, we're improving every day, so go drop the sub. I greatly appreciate it. Now let's get into the video. For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code PUDA at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today we got our, ne our next sniping filter for the day, which will probably be these new kickers. So they just dropped the new set. There's the kicker set, which I actually will show you now so you guys know what I'm talking about. There's a kicker set and there's a punter set. Now, I didn't really think much of it at first because obviously like, I don't think I'm going to do These might be worth it. I don't know. I'm not going to give you guys any advice on that because I don't know at the moment. But there's new kickers and punters in packs, so I was thinking like, Usually when there's something new in packs or something new in general, the market's kind of hot on them. So, I was thinking if you come over here, you go to Team Builders. These are the probably the newest cards getting pulled in packs right now, so I'd imagine they're the hottest. So, go to, um, you can do Kicker or Punter. I'm just going to do Kicker because it's the first thing I thought to do. Now, let's see the 86-87s. See, they're not overly, they're not overly saturated. Uh, yet so as the day goes on this will get better and better But I would check this market right here because as these cards get pulled more and more They're gonna be start becoming bigger and people are gonna start undercutting each other rapidly because right now look It's still small, but look so it's 28k 26k Now if you look at the general price on an 88 to 89, it's 24k, right? So These kickers are gonna start coming down and when they do they're gonna be a lot of undercuts so this won't be relevant just right away, probably like in a few hours as like more people start doing this. But this is going to go from, also if you need a kicker, not a bad price for a kicker now. They're more affordable nowadays. I mean, these kick powers are, oh, Sebastian Janikowski is actually pretty good. Let's see. He's pretty good, not compared to my Gould, but he's good. So you guys could probably, I'd wait till these get down to about 24k and then from there, they're probably going to get even hotter. So they'll probably, you could probably get this for like 18 to 19k. On snipes, I would get I would snipe these for about 16 to 18k, and then sell them for about 24k is probably where they'll end up. It's like a four to five k profit every time. Now, as far as 89s go, these are really overpriced right now. So like the market hasn't really established on these. That is why like now would be the time to snipe. So the 89s will probably come down to around 26k, which again you want to snipe for about 16 to 20k to make your like five to six k profit. Now, these are going to get hotter, so again, I can't give you definitive values now, but the rule of thumb is you see what they're going for, and you snipe them for less than the reduction is going to take you on. So these are about the right price. There's 93, so if you can get this 93 Harrison Butker for about 85 to 90k, that's a great snipe. You could, um, actually, get it for like about 80k, 80 to 85k, because if you snipe it and you sell it, you'll make about 10 to 15k on it, which isn't bad. And this Vinatera, if you can get that for about 75 to 80k, you will make about... 8k on it unless you can get it for like 70k then in that case you'd make about 10k on it which is really good depending on what you sell it for obviously but again these just came out the price they're not saturated at all that's the beauty of it that these aren't saturated yet so there's going to be a point today when they start coming out rapidly maybe when school um school and work ends and then people are home to play but when this gets when things start getting saturated and everyone starts pulling in abundance, at some, I don't know when it'll be today, but at some point everyone's gonna start pulling in abundance. And when that happens, these cards are gonna start going from like in the minutes, you'll see 93, 92, 91, 89, 85. Like it's just gonna everyone's gonna undercut each other. And that is when you buy. And then once everyone's done and the market readjusts itself, that will be when you resell. And if you do that already, you probably missed it. So I you wanna be on top of this. Now there's the new Rosas and the new Greg Zerlin. The Rosa seems like a little overpriced. I mean, no, for 200k for a full one, I guess it's horrible. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's not even, you know, gold, gold's still better. Let's see what they could, these kicker prices compared to a regular one. 
All right, so the kickers are actually on the cheaper side. I guess if you filter them, they'd all probably be at that price though. So you'd want these 94 kickers for about, see when the market starts to crash them later, which they probably will, get these for about 120 to 130, and then resell later for about 160, 165. And you'll probably make a quick 20K on it, 15 to 20K. How's this Tucker actually? This Tucker looks good, same thing as Gould though. And now these 95 kickers, you'll probably want these for about like 160, 170. Again, when the thing starts dropping, just be on top of it, because I, I could be wrong. Like, it might not drop as bad as I think, but usually with any new cards, once work and school and the mass population of all the Madden players get on real fast and start pulling these packs to test their luck and they start selling, there's a good chance that these start dropping rapidly. So, like, usually it works like this. So, the thing comes out, the prices are, like, up, up, up. The prices start here, and then they slowly start going down, slowly start going down. And then once everyone gets home, they go to, like, here. And like quickly goes down for like maybe like a 10 to 30 minute span they're going down and then the following 30 minutes after that it starts coming back up back up back up back up and then it, and then it kind of like starts to settle out and that will hit a high you sell and then it'll start selling settling out after that so i definitely be on these and let's see if you guys have a little less coins than what i'm talking about see if i can find you some really cheap ones but i don't think you can snipe too well down here because obviously the margin is very small i mean if you truthfully have not a lot of coins Get these kickers for like 1k to 2k and then resell for 3,000. It's only going to be a gain of about 500 to 1,000 coins. So it's not really worth it. But like if you don't have a lot of coins, I mean, it's not a bad filter to be using. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess people have. I guess there's some people who could find this information like useful. I, not everyone probably watching this video can. But look at that 149 right there. Obviously not a snipe only because if I sold it, I would just get this back. And I'm telling you, they're going to dip down. So do not fall for this yet. Get these for about 115 to 130. And then resell it tonight for about 160 hopefully. I definitely wait on these. There's no need to push it on those. Now, let's go check out the punters. See if there's any difference in value. I do need a punter. Okay, the punters are even more expensive. Again, same thing with these 94 punters. Same exact price. So you're going to stick about 115 to 130 And you could probably sell later for about 160 to 170 Do not fall for this right now. It's If it's not full, there's no good prices. That's like a good rule. Unless they're limited times or like um, rare cards. But like... If, there's, if, it's, if that bar is not full, don't wait. There's no competition. These cards have there's low supply and low demand right now, so they're gonna be up. Once there's high supply and low demand, the, the one, if there's high supply and low demand, it's gonna come down. But right now there's there's low demand and low supply, so the price is just up. No one's buying anything. But if you wait, if you wait till later, probably around three o'clock ish is when I'm three to five ish is what I'm imagining. Maybe even five to eight. Sometime between three to eight is gonna be when it happens, but probably closer to like four. Somewhere in between. Um, let's see how the prices look down low too. Just so you guys have like a good price point for every single set. So these are going to be not 100K. Again, you're going to want these for about 60 to 70K to be able to get a good profit on them. I don't really deem... If you get it for 80K, I mean, you'll still make about 10K. But I don't think this price... I think this price will come down to about 85K. So again, wait. If you get these for about 60 to 70K, you can sell these for about 85K later on. Or even at night, 90K, which will give you about 10 to 15K profit. A lot of ways to make profit. Almost every day, it's a similar filter. I'd give you guys different ways. To, you guys want to hit the hot ones. That's the other thing. You don't want to sit on an old Legends filter because Legends are very slow. Like not many people, not many people are pulling like low Legend cards anymore as much as they used to. Let's say they're still doing it, but not as much as they used to. Which means that instead of ten guys putting up a card every minute, there's gonna be like one to two every minute, and it might not even be a snipe. It might just be a regular price. These are gonna be a little hotter because when people come, they're gonna be like, "Oh, a new set. Let me waste my scouts." Like I me, mean, I almost did it. Like I was gonna spend. My last uh, 1,000, almost 600 on two of those packs just to test my luck. So, I mean, like, people do it. And when everyone gets home, it'll probably be, like, a surplus of a few hundred. A few hundred that pop up on the auction block in the next, like, 30 minutes after the uh, people get home. And then it'll probably slow down to about 80, then 50, then 40. And then eventually, the market will readjust or slow down, and punters will be just like any other filter. So, this might be a filter only for today. Unless they drop some, like, special punter pack, which I know they won't. So, this will be a today filter. So, get on this as soon as you can. And, uh... Again, when you look at it, it might not be hot yet. When you see this bar on the right, the little gray bar that goes up and down, when you see that very tiny, that is when it's going to be the prime time to be buying these and trying to snipe them. Now, you might have to filter them out, so remember that if it gets really, really tiny, you don't see, the way to test is you go to newest, and you look for this right here, 59 minutes, or like you want to just make sure it's like at a brand new a brand new time, like just posted. And if it is full and there's no 59 minutes, then what you're going to want to do is it's filtered out by team. You might have to do that. But this is tricky because I, I can't speak for the time when it comes because if you go to Dolphins only filter, there, what if there, there might not be a lot of Matt hacks or whatever on the on the block. So you might want to filter differently. I can't even speak to that because I don't know how it's going to look in a few hours. See, they're coming down already. It's going to be 95. 
and then if that doesn't sell, it'd be 90, probably probably settle around 80k, 80 to 85k, and then when it gets hot, probably around like 60 to 70k. So be on top of that. If you learned anything from any promo, you know that a new card does that. Like when the zero freeze first happened and the presence opened, like the uh, Jalen Smith was going for like 50, 60k, 45k, and then and by the end of the night it was going for 100k and it stayed there. Like it it all just all depends on the time of day and when they first drop. So be on top of that. And um, that's about it for this video. So if you guys are enjoying my content and if you haven't checked out the other videos, go check them out. My gameplay got a little messed up. I'm sorry about that. I kind of I don't I didn't I wasn't even sure if I was gonna post it. But I spent like two hours editing it, and I just figured, you know what, if you guys enjoy it, it's cool. If you guys don't, it's fine. The audio got a little messed up, so the Elgato was playing extra loud, so you could hear too much gameplay audio. And then for some reason, it came out like partially blurry. I don't know if it's my computer or if it's just YouTube. I don't know. It came out like blurry, but I record in like 4K. Like, I don't even comprehend how that's possible. On my screen, it looks great. And I processed it twice already. I don't know. But, um, and then check out my, my How to Get an Ultimate Legend pack. That's another one that's a good video. Go check out. I'm probably posting three today, so... This is the third, so I will be posting three. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't yet, go down below and drop the sub. Helps a lot. We need about 40 more subs to hit 400. Hopefully, we can hit that by tonight, but we'll probably hit it by tomorrow. Hopefully, if we keep at this pace. But thank you guys so much. It means a lot. Go drop the sub. I'm out. See you guys later.